Hey, what's up guys? It's Miguel here from Toy Quest 101. And on this episode of the Geek Statue Show, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the exclusive Big Bad Toy Store Lionel Battle Virgin statue from our friends over at Iron Studios. And that episode is gonna start right now. Hey, what's going on collectors? Miguel here as always, and welcome to this new episode of That Geek Statue Show right here on Toy Quest 101. Now, if you haven't heard the news already, guys, we have officially partnered up with the Big Bad Toy Store for this episode because we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing their exclusive Lionel Battle Virgin statue from our friends over at Iron Studios. Now, guys, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to Toy Quest 101, and don't forget to hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any toy reviews statue unboxings or any celebrity guests that might pop up on our show. Now, if you joined us in the past, you know that we've done a ton of the Thundercats line in the 110 scale form from Iron Studios, but this one's exclusive to the Big Bad Toy Store, so what that means is that you can only find it there, nowhere else, and we're gonna have the links in the bio of the video for you guys to go ahead and check it out and grab one yourself. And of course, you know they're known for their $4 flat rate shipping, which we all love, guys. Again, exclusive, only found there. And if you're a Thundercats fan, this is the leader of the pack. This is Lionel, and this is the battle version. So I'm so pumped up to get it unboxed and review it for you guys today. But as always, let's start with this box. Now it's crazy because this does look a little different than your traditional Iron Studio boxes. You see that the art box is a little different. And of course you're gonna see here in the front Lionel, up close and personal. And on the back, you're gonna see the full statue. But I'm really pumped up because like I said, this is an exclusive, so it's gonna be a very hard one to get. So make sure you guys jump on it now, but let's get to unboxing it. All right, guys, so Lionel is out of the box and on our table, and he looks really good, guys. So I love the classic look. Obviously, this is the battle version. And as you could see, guys, the base is just like the other bases. Show some continuity there. You're gonna see like that third earth base rock, and you're gonna see some spike rock formations coming out the sides and stuff but it looks like some steps going up and he's kind of like ready to battle. I really like this base though, because like I said, you see a lot of continuity between this one and the other ones. So when you form that diorama that Iron Studios is all about, it looks really, really good. And you can form like the good guys versus the bad guys or just have the good team there, the Thundercats all together. It's up to you, but they have so many options that you can play with. But you're gonna see a lot of cracks, crevices. There's some texture on the details here, the rock formations that look really, really good. Now this is a 110 scale statue, guys. It's about eight inches tall from top to bottom. So it's not that big, but they do cram a lot of great details into these statues. And you can see that just by looking at the base like we are now, it just looks really good. There's a lot, a lot of different uh, textures. And again, the different cracks to make it look like that third earth rock that they're always on, which I thought was really cool. 
Now moving on to Lionel himself. I love his pose, guys. Again, this is the battle version. So he has the Sword of Omens. He has the, uh, the Claw Shield right here as well. The Claw Shield looks really, really good, guys. Let's take a look at that. You're gonna see all the rubies in the top. You're gonna see like this bronze gold finish to it. Ton of different details on it. I absolutely love it. Again, the battle version. So this looks really good. And his pose looks good too because he's kind of like holding the shield up and ready to like strike with the Sword of Omens. So let's talk about the Sword of Omen, guys. Check that out. You're gonna see right there the Thundercat symbol. The blade looks really good. I mean, it just screams Thundercats nostalgia for me, and it just looks really, really good. So I love the uh, pose, it's different. It's not too crazy, but it looks really good. He's ready for battle. Definitely a good job there. Now let's move on to Lionel himself. Let's start from the body and the paint applications. Guys, the sculpt on this is amazing. I mean, look at all the muscles going down the legs. You're gonna see the calf muscles here in his boots look really, really good. I mean, everything about this is just done right. And you're gonna see all this uh, muscle tone here on the thighs going up to his back. You're gonna see all the muscles in his arms. I mean, he's just jacked. Now his boots look good too. They're obviously sculpted. You're gonna see that like navy classic blue look and with that silver platinum outline here on the top, it just looks fantastic, guys. Obviously he has the classic suit on. I love everything about it. You're gonna see here, uh, you know, the Thundercat symbol here on his belt that looks really, really good. He's got the short trunks. He's got the sleeveless, uh, you know, shirt on. His abs are showing. You're gonna see the buckles here on the top of his shirt. I mean, it's classic Lionel from the classic Thundercats. Definitely super nostalgic. I love this figure. I think it looks really, really good so far. But let's move on to that portrait that we all worry about. Guys, like I mentioned before, this is a smaller 110 scale statue, but they do pack a lot of details into it, guys. Check out that portrait. Lionel looks amazing. It's got sculpted hair, and the hair looks good too. It's kind of like in the wind blowing, so it does show some movement. You're gonna see a lot of details here on the different strands and stuff. His face looks good. He's grinting. He's got his teeth clenched. He looks angry. He's ready for battle. His eyes look good. You're going to see the paint on his face looks really good as well. His eyebrows, you're going to see all the wrinkles near his eyebrows as well. They did a fantastic job with the portrait being so small. It looks spot on. I mean, this even as a standalone statue, guys, looks really good. But I encourage you to look at all the different Thundercat statues because you can make this great diorama and this great battle scene right there in your home to bring back that classic Thundercats cartoon right into your house. I think they did a fantastic job with this. I mean, it just looks amazing, guys. Again, it's about eight inches tall. This is the exclusive only to the Big Bad Toy Store, so you can only find it there. We're gonna have all the links in the bio of the video for you guys to go ahead and check out yourself and make sure you snag one before they all run out because Thundercats is super popular and they usually tend to run out as well. But this is an amazing piece to add to your collection guys if you like what you see guys don't forget subscribe to toy quest 101 you can follow us on tiktok instagram and facebook and don't forget to subscribe to toy quest 101 we'll see you guys on another episode thank you so much big bad toy store and we'll catch you next time bye guys